Hello and welcome in this session on Enhancing Professional Competencies courses for B.A. Second Year. Dear learners, in B.A. Second Year also, we have two EPC courses. First such course is BESL 123 Drama and Art in Education which is of two credit and another course is BESL 124 Understanding the Self and Yoga. This course is also of two credits. So the activities related to these two courses you will do during your B.A. second year. There are four activities in each EPC course. So there are two courses means total eight activities you have to complete. Out of four activities in each course, two activities will be completed during your internship period and rest two activities in each course you will complete during your workshop too. Dear learners, there is no term and examination or assignments for EPC courses. So you have to complete the activities related to EPC courses prior to as well as during the workshop. Before coming to workshop two, you have to complete two activities in each EPC course that is BESL 123 and BESL 124. Dear students, please note that the reports of the activities which you will complete during your internship period should be duly verified by the mentors and authenticated by the head or principal of, of your internship school where you have completed your internship. The assessment of all the reports will be done during the workshop too. Now let us talk about different EPC courses. The first such course in B.A. second year is BESL 123 Drama and Art in Education. In this course there are four activities, organization of drama and art activities, developing multidisciplinary thematic activities, these two activities you will complete during your internship too and understanding environmental issues through drama and visual art forms in teaching learning process. These two activities you will do during your workshop too. Let us talk about the first activity, organization of drama and art activities. It is an individual activity which you will complete during your internship too. Before attempting the activity, you are suggested that you please read unit one of the course BESL 123. This activity, as I told you, aimed at developing an understanding of various prerequisites for organization of drama and art in schools. In this activity, you are expected to collect the information of your school or of your nearby schools about the infrastructural facilities available in that school for drama and art activities, whether classroom physical space is available to organize drama and art activities in classroom. They allow use and sharing of local resources and materials by learners for group activities. You also collect the information that whether the school is organizing any workshops by local artisans for learners. If they are organizing, what is the frequency of such workshop? And on the basis of information which you collect from the school, you give the suggestions how available resources can be utilized in more effective way. So assessment of this activity report will be done on the basis of collection of information on all the themes analysis of the collected information. If you have developed any linkage between collected information and the suggestions which you have given on the basis of the experience, observations and interaction with other teachers. The second activity is developing multidisciplinary thematic activities. This activity is again an individual activity which you will complete during the internship too. So go through the first unit of your course BESL 123. This activity basically aimed at developing an understanding of the use of multidisciplinary thematic activities in classroom teaching. So what you are expected to do? You can choose any of the following theme air, energy, environment or water. Then you develop objectives of each discipline to be covered in chosen theme. For example, if you have chosen the theme water, then how you will deal water? What should be the objectives for dealing the theme water in science, in social science, in literature, in mathematics, different disciplines. You also match the objectives with the particular skill of the students, which the students are expected to demonstrate as multidisciplinary theme. 
then you develop some assessment items for all the disciplines which are to be included in these activities then prepare a report and your report will be assessed on the basis of the theme which you have chosen how you have integrated the drama art and school activities whether you have designed some thematic multidisciplinary activities and what kind of assessment items you have designed to assess those activities the third activity in this course is understanding environmental issues through drama this activity is a mixed group activity so the participant from different different discipline will form the group and because it is a group activity so it will be completed during the workshop too you can choose a topic which can be used for environmental awareness then you write a script then you dramatize the script you develop a worksheet for assessing the learning through drama and this activity will be assessed on the basis of selection of the environmental issue which you have chosen the drama script which you have developed how you dramatize your script and the feedback of your fellow learners and the assessment worksheet which you have developed the fourth activity in this course is visual art forms in teaching learning process this is again a mixed group activity which will be completed during your workshop 2 so please go through unit 1 of the course BESL 1 2 3 you will be given three themes like journey of cotton fibers to cotton cloth journey of a rice seed in the field to our kitchen journey of a water drop from a lake to ocean or any such theme which can be identified by your resource person then your group will be asked to choose any one theme and depict it meaningfully through the use of one or more visual art forms your group will present on the theme chosen and your group presentation will be assessed by the resource person on the basis of understanding of the theme in your group the depiction which you have chosen through different visual art forms and whether the use of visual art forms which you have identified is appropriate or not the fourth course is understanding the self and yoga this is a very important EPC course in B.A. second year. So in this course again there are four activities discovering oneself and expressing oneself similarities and differences in childhood experiences these two activities you will complete during your internship learning stress relieving techniques and understanding self these two activities you will do during your workshop let us talk about these activities in brief. The first activity is discovering oneself expressing oneself. Dear learners, it is an individual activity which you will complete during your internship too. And this activity aimed at developing an understanding of the need for self-expression and the provision of opportunities to discover one's potential and desire. So you are requested to go through the article on different ways in which a person can creatively express oneself. The link of the article is given here. The article is also printed in your handbook of practical activities be it second year so you can read from there too then after reading the article you answer the following questions which activity give you most happiness even when you are tired how often you are able to engage in these activities how do engaging in these activities help you in this activity please engage yourself at least one hour per week for four weeks and then record your experiences thoughts difficulties which you have faced and the insight drawn while practicing or while engaging in such activity for four weeks you develop a personal portfolio comprised of written reports prepared by you on a weekly basis or you can try some e-means also like weekly blogs video or photo journal as per your choice the second activity is similarities and differences in childhood experiences it is again an individual activity which you will complete during your internship too. You please read unit 3 of block 1 of the course BESL 1 to 4. This activity aimed at developing an understanding of similarities and differences in childhood experiences even within the same family. So for this activity, you prepare an interview schedule to explore the experiences of the people on their own childhood, their lifestyle and family interactions their daily routines, the type of play and laser activities, the food, 
the cultural stereotypes about the children. Then you conduct interview with one male and one female member of at least two generations or if possible with three generations of the family or extended family. In this way you will conduct at least four to six interviews and analyze the data for differences and similarities across the generations. You can compare the personal experiences which are with those of the family or similar groups. You can identify the differences and similarities across different community groups if it is available in the data and you compare experiences of male with the experiences of female members. So this activity will be assessed on the basis of nature of information collected, variety of themes analyzed, depth of the analysis, meaningfulness of the linkages which you expressed in your report and meaningful exploration of one's own roots. Third activity which you will complete during the workshop is learning stress relieving techniques. It is a mixed group activity. This activity aimed at developing awareness among you that there are different ways to relieve stress which can be learned and practiced. You go through unit 5 of block 2 of the course BESL 1 to 4. You identify and practice the de-stressing technique balanced breathing. Details of this technique are given in your practical handbook as well as in your study material. You reflect on its effect on your mental state and you submit a report based on your experiences. Fourth activity is understanding self. This is again a subject specific group activity which you will complete during your workshop. You go through the unit 1 of block 1 of your course BESL 1 to 4 that is understanding the self and yoga. This activity will begin basically with a brainstorming session and a discussion or discussion on sharing the experiences based on your feeling that have influenced your identity formation. There is a very famous Bollywood film Dil Dhadakne Do. You can use the discussion on that film to start or initiate your discussion or you can identify any other film or documentary from internet and you can use that also. Then you can discuss on the nature of influence of different people including parents, situation and experiences which they have on your lives and a sample worksheet is given in your handbook so you can discuss that worksheet also and then you write your reflection about what you have learned about yourself through this activity. The reflective fact which you write with the worksheets will be submitted to the workshop facilitator for assessment purpose. So dear learners in be it second year the assessment of all the reports of EPC activities will be done during the workshop too in the sessions allotted for the assessment of EPC activities. You will be asked to make a presentation of all the activities which you have carried out in EPC courses. You are expected to submit your report of all the activities in two different portfolio that is one for EPC 3 and one for EPC 4. Your resource person will grade your EPC activities based on your reports and your presentation. And after assessment of all the activities, the cumulative grades will be awarded to each learner separately for course BESL 1 to 3 and BESL 1 to 4. Now let us talk how this cumulative grade is calculated. Suppose anyone among you has got grades A, D, C and B in four activities of your EPC course in one course. Then your final cumulative grade will be like A is equal to 5, D is equal to 2, C is equal to 3 and B is equal to 4. So the total will be divided by 4, 14 divided by 4, 3.5 and in our table 3.5 is equivalent to B because the range of the score between 3.50 to 4.49 is B. So your final grade will be B. So dear learners, hope this presentation will help you in completing your activities of EPC courses. If you have still any doubt, any confusion, you can write to us at soe at the rate ignu.ac.in. So keep learning, keep growing, be an effective teacher. Thank you very much.